Robert Tamukong, I'm an Associate Professor of Clinical Pharmacy here at the department and I also coordinate uh, um, all postgraduate training, Masters and PhD in the Department of Pharmacy. So about clinical pharmacy, which is something very new in Uganda, um, it's one of the very first programs uh, ever um, to uh, be implemented in Uganda. Um, traditionally, uh, pharmacists were people who were thought to be pushing drugs behind the counter in community pharmacies. So there has been a paradigm shift from that approach for pharmacists to go from uh, product-centered to what we call the patient-centered model. It means they don't take care of only medication, but they are also part of an interdisciplinary medical team um, in terms of uh, their knowledge in, in drug therapy. So in other words, a physician would diagnose a pathological condition or a disease and then the pharmacists would diagnose what we call a drug therapy problem and together they can work for a better outcome of the patient at the end of the day. So talking about the pandemic um, that is here with us today, um, it came in as early as uh, the late 2019 and more so early uh, 2020s. It's been a challenging time for us here at the university, especially in terms of um, our clinical pharmacy unit. Um, but at the same time, we were privileged as a clinical um, unit to be able to be allowed to stay on, to stay put, because we are patient care providers, we are clinicians, and we have to be trained to be able to work within the confines of a pandemic. So it was just right for clinical students to stay on board and continue delivering service at the level of the hospital. So that was a big deal um, because um, our patients and even the staff uh, over there at the hospital, uh, the Barara Regional Referral Hospital, were very appreciative of the services that were offered, especially um, that um, the number of students had dwindled uh, significantly um, and it was challenging to meet uh, uh, the demands of the hospital. So um, the difference that we are um, experiencing with this COVID time um, is that we're able to, as much as we keep our students around, we're able to deliver um, a lot of the uh, modules um, virtually. But as you know, um, it's a challenge because this is a hands-on program, it's a patient care program. So it was a little bit challenging uh, trying to blend both the virtual aspect of the teaching um, together with um, the, uh, the hands-on. So it was a little bit challenging, but we managed to, to weather that through and the students as well were very appreciative. Um, another challenge was keeping the students on campus for all that while. As a matter of fact, during the second lock, but I just want to um, say here that my students have been around since December of 2020. Up till this time, 2022, they've been here trying to catch up on um, the curriculum. And at this time, they are more on their clinical program. We call it experiential exposure their clinical rotations in the hospital and we are hopeful that uh, we should be able to uh, complete the program on time. In terms of uh, opportunities, uh, the Department of Pharmacy in general had made uh, significant strides uh, with the support of Farm Biotrack, which is a World Bank funded project uh, under which we, we belong. Um, we made significant strides, uh, notably um, at national and international level. I just want to dove my heart to um, uh, 
Associate Professor Oguang Patrick, who is um, the head of the Department of uh, Pharmacy here. So under his stewardship, um, we were able to come up with um, the celebrated drug today, the magic bullet, Covidex. Uh, and um, that was really um, a big achievement for the department. We also were able to come up with uh, what we call the FAMSAN, which are uh, which is basically hand sanitizer uh, that has helped um, the, uh, you know, not just the university but other uh, institutions around Barara and Uganda as well to observe uh, the SOPs for COVID. So um, Barara University of Science and Technology is a great university and our programs that we offer here are very unique and um, in the sub-region, uh, the East African sub-region, actually, clinical pharmacy here is one of the programs um, that is very significant. So uh, we have international students. Um, we have students from Ethiopia. We have students from Kenya. We have from Tanzania. We have from Rwanda, from Congo, from Benin. So it's actually Africa in miniature that is coming into the program and we encourage people to continue to uh, apply and come into the program. Um, so um, we are really, really happy that we are able to sell these programs to the outer world and we um, encourage people to come in. They will not be disappointed here in Barara.